Hey there, Metalheads, Flying V here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to disassemble and reassemble a Nintendo 64. First thing you want to do is remove your expansion pack. And be sure to remove any controllers or cables connected to your system. Next thing you want to do is that you want to flip the console over. Um, and there are six screws holding the lid in place. All screwed into these six holes I'm, f I'm pointing to. So, you want to remove them with a 4.5 millimeter game bit. Um, you can't find these in a hardware store. You have to buy these online. You can find these on eBay, Amazon, and you know, um, and uh, retro video game websites. So, yeah. Um, um, they may run you um a a a little expensive, but um, you should be able to find these for fairly cheap anyway. So, once you have the screw driver, go to six screws and remove. Okay. Once you've taken all the screws out, you will notice that the two plastic feet will come off of the two places here and here. And all the screws are the same size, so you can uh, put them back in whatever hole you want and it won't matter. Anyways, put those to the side. Once that's all done, you can flip the console over again. And lift the lid off. Then you will see the uh, you'll see the top here. Um, you could take off the buttons if you want to. We can simply remove the buttons here, pull them off like that. You know. Um, you could remove the cartridge bay if you want to, but uh, I'm not going to show that um, in this video. It is fairly easy to do. All you gotta do is move the two screws, lift it off, and the doors will come off with it. So, yeah. Um, to put the buttons back in, you can simply put them back in there like that. And, uh, stick it back in there like that. So, uh, yeah. Now you know how to take apart this, so we'll just Put the lid to the side. So, to to remove the console from the casing, you want to remove the following screws. You want to remove these two little screws right here. You want to remove this screw, the two screws here, the three screws here, the two screws here, the two screws here, and here. You can remove these two screws with a fine Phillips head screwdriver and the rest with a medium sized Phillips head screwdriver. So, you have the two screwdrivers out and you can go to the following screws and remove them. Okay, so, once you have all those screws out, you should take into account that they all are different sizes. For starters, the two screws that go in here are this length. The one that goes in here, the three that go in the holes on this side, and the th two that go in the holes on this side are this length. The two holes that go in here and here are this length. The two or, and the four screws that go in these four holes are this length and this color. So, once those screws are out, you can simply lift the board out. Um, if you wish, you could also remove the lens for the LED. You could remove these metal pieces if you want to. could remove this plastic piece as well. So, now your Nintendo 64 is completely disassembled. Okay, this is a completely optional thing you can do. Um, you could remove all of these screws 
if you wanted to. You could remove these two black screws if you wanted to um, um, as well. But uh, if you want to take the metal shielding off of the board completely, you have to remove the two screws that go in these holes. They look like this. They have these little uh, washers on them. You can remove them with the same medium-sized Phillips head screwdriver. Once you have them removed, you can simply lift the board off. You can simply lift the shielding off, revealing the board. And that is basically what the Nintendo 64 is. It's basically just a motherboard. So, yeah. We want to put it or when you want to put the metal shielding back on, you can simply just stick it back on there like that. Take your two screws and uh, screw them back in. Okay, now it's time to put the Nintendo 64 back together. First thing you want to do is that you want to take your board and take this plastic piece and mount it back onto the audio video port. Then bring over the bottom part of the casing and stick it back in the casing. Alright, next you want to do uh, the usual by putting all the screws back in. Okay, once you have all the screws back in, you can, uh, you can take the lid and simply remount it on the Nintendo 64. Then you can flip it over again. You can take... Uh, Take your uh, feet, put them back on there like that. And then take your uh, six game bit screws and put them back in. Okay, once you've put the screws back in, your Nintendo 64 is back together. If you wish, you can take your memory expansion pack and stick it back in your system. So there you go. That is how you disassemble and reassemble a Nintendo 64. Please be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe, share the video, and um, let me know in the comments um, if you want me to do anything. So, that does it. Thank you so much for watching, and may the force be with you. Mosh heart.